Hey guys, girls, this is Adam Winch with Defenders USA. Hey, I want to show you a little bit of what I do on a daily routine um, to keep myself ready to go, right? I carry a gun, defensive life. Therefore, I need to be somewhat warmed up as I do go about my daily life carrying a gun concealer. Now, um, I happen to have on right here, okay? You can see it, I happen to have on my handgun. I've got a Mantis X. 10 right here at the base plate of this empty magazine, nothing in there, right? So if you uh, gun Nazis on the inter interwebs, right? Notice handguns clear, nothing inside there. I've touched everything that needs to be there to verify that's an empty gun. So empty gun, okay? What I'm gonna do is pulling from the appendix carry position um, and using this. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna start out using the Mantis 10X. I don't know if you can see it based on the glare. But the Mantis X10, excuse me, Mantis X10, I'm gonna do some open training with this thing, just looking at what my shots are. Now, you're not gonna be able to see this, but I'm going to call out what the shots are. I'll start out with at least 10 dry fire presses. Now, I'll be pointing this thing at the camera, but don't worry, you're there, I'm here, and the gun's not loaded, so don't worry about it. Anyways, I just wanna make sure that everything is right on my gun itself, on my grip everything. So let me go ahead and start the Mantis. And I'll tell you what it gives me the score of. We're looking for as close to 100 as possible. And I think anything above a 90% or 95 is pretty good. So anyways, got a good grip. I'm going to drive the gun out. Okay. That was an 87.7 uh, uh, score on there. So I was tightening my grip as I shot. So I need to fix that. Okay, that was a 94.1, so considered a good shot. Okay, that was a 89.3. I was pushing forward and breaking my wrist down. I could actually feel it, so I'm gonna fix that this time. Okay, 85.2, I was over gripping the gun. I was feeling myself tighten the gun as I, as I did so. Okay, 95.9, so good shot. Okay, 91.1, so right now my shot grips aren't the greatest. It's considered a good shot, but I'm not happy with it. 95.5. Okay, 90.5, I wanna see what I did on that one. It looks like I, based on, they give you some different things on here that you, kind of tells you what you were doing wrong. In this case, I was pushing forward with the gun. So on the camera, you may have seen the muzzle dip. Let's try it again. Okay, 89.2, so I just did this a little while ago and I was hitting all high 90s, so this is kind of weird. I'm gonna go this way. Okay, 94.3, let's get a couple more. 97.2, so we've got a good shot. That recorded is a 9.3, but that was a bad one actually. Um, cancel, okay, here we go. Okay, 94.9, let's look at it this way. Okay, 95.3, 80.1, woo, don't watch that one. We're gonna do one more. Okay, 90 something here. All right, so now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move to the holster draw analysis. So I'm gonna start drawing the gun. I'm looking for, personally, I'm looking for getting the gun from concealment on target with an accurate shot, seeing all my sights, or in this case a dot, because I have a dot on my gun, seeing all of it on the way out and breaking the shot as I see it. Personally, I look for an accurate shot from three yards, five yards, seven yards, even 10 yards on an area about like this size right here. Uh, I look for that in a, about a second or less. Um, when I first started doing this, uh, two or three years ago, I went off to an active self-protection thing with John, Korea, uh, Neil, and Stephanie Weiner. Um, went off with them, they started timing. I've never worked on a timer, right? I came from some of the pinkest mindset where they don't do timers and all, all this other stuff. And I've never really worked on my draw search for speed. And I was kind of embarrassed. Here I am, the gun guy, right? And I was drawing from concealment, making an accurate shot at seven yards in like 2.3 seconds, 2.4 seconds. That's horrible. And here I'm an instructor. So I bought myself a timer, and started working on it. Ultimately got the Mantis X, or actually got it from Mantis. Um, but I've worked down to where over time I've dropped my times from 
concealment to accurate shot on target to where now I like seeing a, a less than a one second draw stroke if I possibly can. So what I'm gonna do is work on that today. I'll probably take 20 of these things so you can see these. I'll do it towards the camera and facing different ways so you can see. What I do to warm myself up as I go out through my daily life because I wanna be somewhat warm with this. I want my body, my brain to know what it feels like that day to draw and pull a gun accurately, quickly, everything else. Because if I go out and about in my daily life, I wanna, f I wanna know, am I ready for something that day if it were to come? So I think this is something that I would ask for you too, to consider that as you go about your daily life, before you, when you strap a gun on, maybe take five or 10 minutes, that's all it takes. Uh, take five or 10 minutes, work some draw strokes with a dry gun, right, an empty gun. Make sure, right, boys and girls, make sure it's completely empty, right? Two people I know, when we talked about doing dry fire, they didn't listen. Two people, and they blew up their brand new TVs or whatever it is they were shooting at. So make sure it's empty, but then go outside, and, or not go outside, go, go to somewhere where you have a safe area like I have here and work some dry draw strokes before you go to your daily life. It's easy to do. Shucks come home at night and do it, whatever. It's easy to do, you can do it in five or 10 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna work on a holster draw analysis and, and here we go. Oops, I'm gonna let that one go, okay? Because my phone rang. All right, here we go. Stand by. Okay, grip's not the greatest, uh, but that was a 0.85. I need to relax my hand. Stand by. Oh, bad juju. We're letting that one go. If you have a bad one, don't force it. Just Stand let it go. By. Okay, terrible draw stroke. Terrible draw stroke. Everything is a 0.86, but I wouldn't like that. I don't even know if I would have hit it. So. I'm going to relax my hand a little bit and try to be a little bit more efficient in things and feel better, be more present in the moment. Stand by. Whew! Bad one. Bad one. I didn't put my hands together at the right place. Okay, much better. I slowed it down so I could feel it. Uh, and apparently I did not record that one. The Mantis X did it. Stand by. Okay, a good one. I saw everything I need to see. A 0.88, so a 0.88. I'm gonna slow it down slightly because I wanna Stand feel by. more things while I go about this. Okay, decent draw stroke, not the greatest, but that was a 0 0.90, 0 0.90. I didn't bring it high enough to the eye Stand line. By. Good, so I did everything right on that one. I slowed it down on purpose. Now really it's only a 0.92, but that would have been a great shot. I felt Stand everything. By. Okay, I took time to confirm it. That was a 0.84. That wasn't fast. At least it didn't feel to me, uh, but uh, I liked it. Okay, terrible grip. Terrible grip on the drumstick area. That was a 0.84, so 